All right, people. Welcome to Juicy Life. Another episode of my course at LAFS, the Los Angeles Film School. It's about 2 a.m. And I'm currently about to start my third week, which is time management week three for behavioral science, which is a general education subject. And this will be my final general education subject. I will be starting my major next month. I only have two weeks left. I'm so happy and excited about it because I am almost over this behavioral science. But it is interesting. So this is what I did on my second week. This video is actually about my second week. So let's go to the second week which is Asset Building Week 2. It's literally a compilation of the same old go-to-training, sign-up and recording. 2.2 Asset Building Workbook Assignment. 2.3 Asset Building Video Assignment. 2.4 Building School Community Discussion. And 2.5, which is the fifth one, is Using My Assets, the project. These are the due dates. And this was the published date. I said building video assignment. I don't really recall what I did with that. It's a video you have to watch. In this session, we will review the importance of assets, creating a support system, the concept of feedback being an asset, and the many assets available to all LAFS students. So the first concept we're going to look at. Okay, so yes, you have to watch the video and it kind of records if you've actually watched it. It says advanced, viewed the asset building video lesson. Below standard, did not review the asset building video lesson. You know, so they are able to know if you actually played it or not. So here we go, it's 100% there. And then building school community discussion. So I had a discussion about assets. Developing your support network is critical to achieving success. Explain why you found the video interesting and why your classmates should watch it. Explain how regularly reviewing the LAFS alumni news and interviews can help your connection to LAFS and your degree program. Discussion posts should be at least two to three paragraphs two to three paragraphs. Research is not required. If you represent the thoughts, ideas, words, or images of others, be sure to give credit and cite your sources by indicating the author, date, title, website link, where the information was found. This was a video I chose. I embedded it, you know, wrote a paragraph. A paragraph can be a sentence. So, I mean, as long as it makes sense and defines everything, but, you know, I tried to elaborate on what this guy was saying, and yeah, you know, I just picked one randomly. I mean, it, it was, it was kind of random. I responded to two classmates, so I responded. I was like, hi, I admire your positivity and thoughtfulness. It is true that after all that is said and done in life, which seems to go by fast, only what is done with love will last. Love is the foundation of all things and the very thing that drives people to do what they do and become what they are. Everyone loves different things and that makes the universe flow with abundance. The knowledge of self is the beginning of success. Knowing your worth and believing is the start. The right and Robo Marcus Gabby once said, without confidence you are twice defeated in the race of life, but with confidence you have won even before you start. Be sure about yourself. Know who you are. I went on to 2.5 as the project. And my project was a very simple slideshow. The first section is A and B. Log on to LinkedIn Learning. Where I can get tutorials on stuff that I want to know even beforehand. The part 1B, which is linked to the part 1, it says explain in detail how the asset you selected can be used to support your academic success. Part 2 was identified to additional personal or academic assets that are immediately available to you. And you have to explain in detail how these assets uh, 
can be used to support your academic success. So this part two is a four paragraph response. It's six paragraphs in total. There's a video to explain, I think, the part two. And then the part three is just about uploading it to Google Drive folder. All right, so yeah, there you have it for my week two. That's asset building. So I'm on to time management, which is week three. And it's also five sections, starting with the go-to training, time management, workbook assignment, time management, video assignment, a discussion on I have the time, and my use of time. Let me check out that I have the time. I have the time discussion. Laura Vandakan. How to gain control of free of your free time. You have access to the stuff they they post. All right, so yeah, I'm not ready to listen to this right now. So there you have it. I will be giving you updates on my progress as I go along. Maybe after week four, I will make a compilation of, you know, a combination of week three and four's uh, final results and all that. As usual, we'll be going on. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the uh, subscribe button for more. Thank you very much.